Hello people, in this video we want to look at de breach delivery. In breach delivery, first of all let us look at the mechanism of labor. That means naturally how it plans to come out, okay, uh, without any assistance. So this is natural mechanism of labor. So this is what we will look at in this video. The natural, that is the mechanism of labor, okay. So how the baby is trying to come out. So first it's um, buttocks will come out, then it's shoulder will come out and then it's head will come out. So all this we have to look at. So before that we will look at the <coughs> positions that the baby will be in a breech delivery. Okay, what are the positions in relation to the maternal pelvis a baby in breech will be in which position. So here which is the <clears throat> presenting part, the breech is the presenting part and the sacrum is the denominator. So sacrum is the denominator. So the sacrum, this bone is the denominator. So sacrum will be either anterior or posterior, right? And in this it can be left or right, left or right, sacro anterior, okay, like this. So this becomes the position. So let us get started with the mechanism of labor. Before that, first let us understand the positions. So in a breech presentation, what is the denominator? Denominator is the sacrum of the baby, right? Denominator is what? Sacrum of the baby. Now the most common position is left sacro anterior. Left sacro anterior is the most common position. Left sacro anterior, LSA, most common position. Second is right sacro anterior and then uh, you have uh, sacro posterior, okay? Now, uh, you have understood that, uh, which one will you explain in the exam? Whichever is most common, sacro-anterior will explain in the exam, okay. In breach, the um, principal movements are occurring in three places. Movements are occurring in three places. Which are the three places? They are occurring in the buttock. Buttock, some movement is happening. Principal movement, shoulder and head, okay. So, these are the three things you have to explain. Principal movements occur at three places, buttocks, shoulder and head. Okay, the first two successive parts to be born are bigger and more compressible. Okay, so these two are more compressible they are seeing and the head will present some difficulties. Okay, so now anyways we will come to the head later. First let us look at the buttocks. What is happening at the buttocks? It is the bitrochantric diameter that engages. Bitrochantric diameter uh, engages. This is around 10 centimeter. Okay, this is around 10 centimeters. So remember breech will require more, a little more space, right? 10 centimeter is the one that is trying to engage. So the diameter, the engaging diameter is bitrochantric with a sacrum directed towards the iliopubic eminence. Okay, then the buttocks is descending until the anterior buttock touches the pelvic floor. Internal rotation of the anterior buttock. Anterior buttock after touching the pelvic floor what will happen? Obviously it will take an internal rotation. Then further descent of the buttock happens and then the trunk will deliver. Okay, and after the trunk delivers there is restitution so that the buttocks occupy the original position as during engagement in oblique diameter okay so this is about the buttocks now the buttocks is done now let's go to the shoulder so we are done with the delivery of the buttocks guys now we'll move to the shoulder it's a little complex but i think uh, we will try to crack it now look at the uh, shoulder shoulder has to come out shoulder actually what is trying to come out is 12 centimeter okay the bisacromial diameter which is 12 centimeters is trying to come out shoulder 12 centimeter is trying to come out and uh, what happens with this um, descent again descent will happen and then internal rotation will happen delivery of the posterior shoulder happens first so in this one this is the posterior shoulder right so delivery of the posterior shoulder and then restitution and external rotation so just write the same kind of things right restitution and then external rotation Okay, so this is about the shoulder. Now let us talk about the head. What happens to the head when uh, in the mechanism of labor in breach? Now head engagement occurs. Which is sub occipito frontal. The engaging diameter of the head is sub occipito frontal. So let's try to understand that this is occipital. This is sub occipito frontal is somewhere here. So the, the engaging diameter is around 10, okay, 10 centimeters is trying to come out. Okay, this is the engaging diameter. And then again here what will happen, descent, always say descent and then uh, uh, increasing flexion they are saying. And then further descent, head is born by flexion. Please note that head is born by flexion. How is the head born? 
head is bound by flexion let's just take, take a recap of all the three things so uh, buttocks what will you say engaging diameter of the buttock uh, the engaging diameter is by trochanteric 10 cm by trochanteric diameter is engaging 10 cm this much we can try to remember and the what else the diameter passes the through the pelvic brim so this is the breech engagement so this by trochanteric diameter when it passes the pelvic brim uh, breech gets engaged okay this is the first thing engagement happens okay then what will happen descent of the buttocks for everything you know just write one uh, descent will happen descent will happen internal rotation <clears throat> so always write one internal rotation <clears throat> as soon as it touches the pelvic floor internal rotation okay then what will happen further descent 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 you say and then lateral flexion is it possible for you to remember that then the trunk is delivered and then restitution occurs okay now after buttocks what should we talk about uh, we should talk about the shoulder okay shoulder what is trying to come out around 12 cm by sacromial diameter <clears throat> by sacromial diameter it's trying to come out 12 cm okay so then descent obviously then internal rotation <clears throat> delivery of the posterior shoulder the posterior shoulder occurs first and then only the anterior one then restitution and external rotation okay so this is how the shoulder is delivered now how will the head come out <clears throat> head has to engage what will engage sub occipital frontal will engage please write this 10 cm then same thing descent then uh, flexion increasing flexion it is going to flex 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 so this is the thing that is happening with the head flex then it will internally rotate okay internal rotation of the occiput occurs further descent please add one one step everywhere descent 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 is continuous process anyways head is born by flexion please remember this head is born by flexion what and all did you note tell me you noted that uh, uh, buttocks by trochanteric diameter right buttocks by trochanteric diameter some 10 cm is trying to come out and uh, uh, how the buttock comes down it comes down internally rotates then uh, descent descent what did they say uh, the trunk is delivered then restitution etc and then coming to shoulder we came to know that um, <clears throat> some 12 cm is coming to uh, trying to come out by sacromial isn't it and then what will happen the posterior shoulder is delivered first then only the anterior same with descent internal uh, rotation all that is uh, standard uh, things that are happening okay then coming to head head what happened um, the head is trying to come out head basically will come out by flexion that much we have understood and what is the diameter sub occipito frontal so that was around uh, 10 cm trying to come out same uh, descent internal rotation and flexion 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 so basically you have understood the mechanism of delivery in breech uh, right have you understood or not you have understood the mechanism of delivery in breech right so write this in the exam uh, what will you write uh, this one is um, uh, buttocks then shoulder then uh, head and then explain that this uh, uh, breech uh, that is risk to mother and risk to baby what are the risk to mother and what are the risk to baby also you should highlight for mother you can say maternal morbidity is more right and then um, uh, for baby perinatal mortality is more then congenital anomalies can become more right because congenital anomaly is one of the things that is responsible for beach presentation isn't it then uh, there can be intrapartum death right of the baby then injury can happen to the brain skull so brain and skull can get injured right and then birth asphyxia can happen for the baby all the standard things you will write hematoma can happen fractures can happen for the baby then nerve injuries can happen so all this you should understand okay in this video we are done with mechanism of labor of breech next video we will look at assisted breech delivery very good bye bye